I didn't talk about this before because virtually no rolls of Yiddish or Jewish music were ever produced for the reproducing piano. Partly, I think, because reproducing piano rolls were much more expensive than ordinary music rolls. Music students sometimes today study reproducing piano rolls or the recordings of reproducing piano rolls to see exactly how a famous pianist such as George Gershwin or Rachmaninoff would perform, would perform their own music. <clears throat> by Mir Bistushain, composed by Shalom Secunda for the Yiddish Theater, 1932. English lyrics were not added until 1937. The Yiddish lyrics shown here in translation were very funny, if not politically correct. The English lyrics are a conventional lug song. In 1938, the song was recorded by the almost unknown Andrew sisters. It became a phenomenal worldwide hit. English lyrics and Yiddish lyrics are both printed on the music roll. When it was first performed in the Yiddish theater in 1932, it did not get a great reception. Shalom Secunda then sold the copyright for a pittance. He eventually did share some of the fortune this song did create. The player piano was as popular in England as it was in America. 
Dance roles were particularly popular in England with music arranged in strict tempo for dancing. In 1929, a dance hall was produced called Petticoat Lane, a kosher medley frockstrot. Petticoat Lane was a gigantic Jewish Sunday market located in the east end of London. It was highly identified with Jewish London. Very similar to the Lower East Side of New York, a huge Yiddish-speaking Jewish population lived in this area. Within walking distance of this market, was a neighborhood where my wife Iris and her whole family grew up. Instead of using my player piano, I'm going to play this final piece of music on my Manischewitz wine bottle organ. I designed and built this organ about 10 years ago. The organ always plays musical arrangements which are in the form of MIDI files. Among the tunes you will hear played is a foxtrot version of Hatikva, a very fitting way, I think, to finish off a concert of Jewish music. <laughs> 